Dan Deming of KKM Financial joins us now, and earnings are winding down. Winding down, pretty positive. But everybody's paying attention to the economy again. We are, they're focused back on the economy. Unemployment report last Friday, a little weaker than expected, but we saw a positive reaction in the market. We saw a turnaround in the market. Big time, yeah. So yeah, bouncing off the 200-day moving average when you look at the SPX, key technical level, Angie. And you know, yeah, we saw some renewed strength there uh, after the numbers were di digested. This week we have a slew of other numbers to deal with. We uh, do. We do. What, what's on your radar? Well, actually, later this afternoon, consumer credit comes out. Now, that's a number that I think is getting more attention now because of the fact that we are seeing consumer continue to roll up those uh, credit lines. So that'll be credit interesting. Credit lines are going subprime. Lending yep. is picking up. Yep, absolutely. So Just that's saying. yeah, that's one area that you we're keeping a very close eye on. We have a PPI, CPI as well this week, Angie. So inflation so, numbers. Some inflation numbers. If you take a look, though, at what's going on with the trend of the trade here with emerging foreign markets compared to U.S. markets. What are you seeing? Yeah, what are you noticing? Absolutely. So actually, you know, we're seeing the dollar strengthen here in the last month. And so with that, you're seeing an interesting dynamic in the marketplace, Angie, when you look at the small caps here uh, outperforming the emerging markets for sure. And really the small caps outperforming most of the other major averages right now. We're seeing the small caps well off their 200 day moving average and trending back above its 50 day moving average. We are seeing emerging markets actually breaking below its 200 day moving average. So you're seeing a, a transition here as we see a dollar strength typically does benefit the small cap. What is your forecast on the Russell small caps here? The dynamics in the marketplace, Angie, we saw pretty much record earnings. You know, we're seeing some decent economic growth, but we're still seeing the market well off its highs from earlier in January. So that would be the first, you know, level that we'll have to achieve is, you know, push back up to those highs and, you know, see if the market has enough strength to get through there. And right now, I suspect that we're going to see a little bit more sideways, uh, you know, contraction here before we make another run there. Now, potentially the Russell also could be the leader there because if we see dollar strength continue into the summer, I think that would certainly support the uh, small caps and help them outperform some of the larger cap names. Thank you, Dan. Have a good trading week. All right. Thanks for having me. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.